Second grade, here I come. Written by DJ Steinberg, illustrated by Laura Wood. Back to school. No more lazy beach ball days. No more summer getaways. No more splashing in the pool. No Siri, it's back to school. But there's one big ray of sun. Even though vacation's done, at least I know when summer ends, it's time to see my old school friends. The gang's all back. Did Shane get taller or Zane get smaller? Something's different there. Camille got earrings, Anne's all tan, and Lee got spiked up hair. He showed up with two big teeth and someone stretch out Zach. We're all summer older, but hooray, the gang's all back. From me to we. Mr. Dar likes circles, seriously. Today he drew one and labeled it me. Then he circled that circle and wrote family. And around that he drew a community. He had more circles, all itty bitty and circled them all to make up a city. He showed how more cities together create a bigger circle that's called a state. Then states make countries, and on he went to show how those make a continent. He drew one last circle, kind of like he began it, and wrote the name We on the big giant planet. So that's how you get from me to we and how we are all stuck together, you see. Temptation. If you might even be possibly tempted to talk to a person near you, go and change your place, says the teacher, right now before I do. I look at my friend and my friend looks at me. As soon as our guilty eyes meet, I gather my things and head across the room to find a different seat. Soccer practice. My sweatpants have a hole in them, and I'm not telling where, but no matter what Coach Daniel says, I'm not getting out of this chair. Spelling test. Every Friday morning, we have our spelling test. I'm not the greatest speller, but I always do my best. Take a look at my book. Check out this book. It's my new reading book, and it's not like those little kid books. Take a look. It's chock full of chapters and, hey, wait a minute, excuse me, but why are there no pictures in it? 20 minutes a night. You have to read 20 minutes a night when you are in grade two. It's only 20 minutes, I know, but there's so much else to do. I needed to play a game with my brother and talk to my friend about stuff and throw a ball so my dog won't get bored. Then my mom said enough is enough. So I opened the book, 20 minutes was all, and I figured I'd give it a try. And I don't know how, but when I looked up, a whole hour had whizzed right by. Just one more chapter, I begged my mom. Enough is enough, she said. Tomorrow I can't wait to read some more before it's time for bed. Tryouts. I went to the school play tryouts, but I tripped coming up the stage stairs. Everyone giggled. I figured I'd blown it, but then I decided who cares. I pretended to trip all over the place. I stood up then tumbled back down. The kids laughed so hard the teacher said, you're cast in the part of the clown. Hungry art. Art class comes before lunch, so I'm in a hungry mood. I guess that could be why I'm always painting food. Recycle week. We're saving the planet this week. Hooray! We're making no garbage at all, except for the sort of recyclable kind that can go in the box in the hall. For lunch we bring in reusable bags with plastic compartments and seals. Then we pack them back up and yuck! What is this? I forgot that banana has peels. 
My teacher says they're great for compost to help grow the garden at school. Then he gives me two stickers. I hand him the peel. Let me tell you, recycling is cool. It. Every day at recess, you have to shout, not it. Because if you didn't say it, then you'll be it legit. But if you're it, don't pitch a fit. Just run around and flail. And when you tag somebody else, shout out, you're it, and bail. Marshmallow Toes. On our way back to our classroom, our teacher leads the two rows and says not to make too much noise by walking on marshmallow toes. Wall of Dreams. The wall in the hall says, I have a dream, with a place for us kids to say all the things we imagine in our own dreams, how the world could be better someday. The wall in the hall is covered with dreams for just about everything, and although they're just dreams, that's a good place to start, like it was for the great Dr. King. Valentine's Party. I got three billion valentines, but the one that is way off the chart is the one that I got from my teacher. It's a red foil milk chocolate heart. Fraction Action I thought up a show called Fraction Man. It made my friends all laugh. When he's attacked by bad guys, he divides himself in half. Then he can keep on dividing himself into clones that get smaller in size till the villain finds him fighting off 64 super fierce little guys. The Principal's Office Someone passed a note to give the person next to me, so I was just the delivery guy. I'm innocent, you see. But when my teacher noticed, I was asked to leave the room and sent to see the principal. Now I walk the Hall of Doom. By the time I'm in her office, I've confessed my whole life of crime. I was tardy for recess. I drew in a book. I swallowed gum one time. The principal sends me back to class with a smile for goodness sake. She says that even awesome kids are allowed to make mistakes. Noodle time. Our teacher's kind of funny. Every day he plays a song and makes us bop out of our chairs to hop, skip, scootle along. The whole class wiggles and waggles their arms and legs and caboodles. For exactly one minute we dance and we wave like a bunch of second grade noodles. Funny thing about zero. Zero plus zero is zero. I guess that could be maybe true, but zero times a thousand, how could that equal zero too? Dribble trouble. We are practicing dribble in gym today. That ball had a mind of its own, I must say. I was doing just fine till I stopped at the line and that ball kept on drip, 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 dribbling away. Measurements. When I went to the doctor, he measured me and said I'm just 3 feet 11. That seemed kind of short, so I did some math. In inches, that's 47. That sounded a little bit better. Still not great, if you know what I mean. So I converted the centimeters, or I'm a whopping 119. End of the year barbecue. The Lesters invited us all to their pool, the kids and the teachers too, to celebrate our class finishing school with an end of the year barbecue. We played Marco Polo and tug of war, wolf down hot dogs with lemonade. We took a few pictures and took a few more and told stories about second grade. When at last it came time to say our goodbyes, I felt one little tear and it gave me a shiver to realize how much we've shared this past year. And that's when it really struck me, like that circle our teacher made. This class has become my community, and together we'll conquer third grade.